Nonetheless, we're here in New Mexico. I don't know a lot about what's out here, but we are currently in Las Cruces. Um, I decided, you know what? I think it might be an, a good time to uh, pick up a couple of bottles and see if we can do a review a little here and there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna walk into this place uh, here in Las Cruces, uh, right outside of right outside of El Paso. And uh, oh my, oh my God, oh my God, my. All right, the selection there is kind of sparse, uh, but I got a little something here, so stay tuned and let's check it out and see what it is but first uh just like anybody else you know we all got other things that we do in life i enjoy music but right now we're about to go hit the gym here and then after that we're gonna hit this review and see how good or not good are we gonna sip it or quit it uh for this uh, new or maybe not new but new to me whiskey until after this sweaty workout we'll see What's up guys, my name is Brenner. This is my channel, Mr. Liquor Sipper, and it's been roughly six months since I've done an upload. Man, shame on me, but had a lot of stuff going on and here recently within the last couple of months, I've done a slight move out here to New Mexico, uh, currently in Las Cruces, but will eventually move out over to Albuquerque. Uh, but I wanted to dip my toes back in the water doing these reviews because it's been a little while. I've still been sipping, um, just haven't been doing much recording uh, or doing any reviews for that matter. What I did want to do was get something special. I couldn't find anything because of where I'm at out here in Las Cruces, um, but I did want to get something that I personally haven't tasted yet because all of these reviews that I do, one, no, I'm not getting paid for any of these things, um, and number two, no, I'm not getting paid for any of these things, and uh, number three, these are all genuine and, and uh, real reactions to this stuff. I just kind of do it on the fly, and that's kind of how this started. I was like, well, damn, since I'm already sipping on these things anyway and, and kind of getting myself uh, uh, enamored in this whiskey culture, I might as well go ahead and record it and share it with the people out there, uh, with people that may not know anything about whiskey, such as myself, because I'm just kind of diving into this all by my lonesome. So, that being said, I am currently drinking a little bit of my go-to, a little bit of my Knob Creek here, and as you can see, it's a little bit dry. I'm running a little bit dry over here. And uh, for you guys that don't know, Howlerhead. Yeah, well, let me just say this, if you are one of those connoisseurs, if you're one of those people that just like, uh, are, are one of your purists, how about that? If you are a purist of whiskey, then my God, I don't know if uh, Hallerhead is gonna be for you because it's... it's bananas, e -A -N -A -N -A. There's a, so there's a real fine line and I feel like when you're, when you're sipping this Hallerhead over here, I feel like you're jumping into a bed of bananas and, and it's like a, giant monkey orgy that's just going on and they're going to town. So if you're into that and you really like bananas. <laughs> it is super sweet. Um, but this review is not about Hallerhead. This review, excuse me while I sit. This review in particular is actually, I don't know why I always make this a secret because I go ahead and I put it in to the, uh, the YouTube thumbnail so you guys can see, but it's uh, Oak and Eden, finished whiskey. Uh, this in particular is the Toasted Oak, as you can see. This label batch is B005, bottle number 0574, and with a proof of 90. So with a 90 proof, I would say, without me even tasting, uh, to me particularly a 90 proof is something I would, I would uh, say is good for beginners. Um, again, I haven't tasted it yet, so we'll find out. But um, this bottle is actually out of Bridgeport, Texas. So I thought that was pretty cool that it's actually distilled there. This particular um, bottle, as far as I know, is a, uh, dis or I'm sorry, it's in a, in a cask for two years. So it's aged for two years, which is the minimum requirement for whiskey. Um, it is a alcohol by volume of uh, 45%. And it's gonna have 60% uh, corn, 36% rye, and it's a 4% malted barley. So for those out there that are interested in that. Now, the price of this whiskey 
this bourbon in particular, um, again, this is always, it always varies from, you know, uh, location to location, so wherever you're from uh, or wherever you currently live. This bottle is roughly 50 bucks. I bought this for $48.99, so $52 roughly because of taxes and whatnot. Um, could cost you more, could cost you less. I always say I, I have not seen it, 60 bucks, but it could be. Um, so the actual, so the actual current owners, um, I will probably butcher their names. Um, it's Joe and I believe uh, Joe and Jamie. I almost thought it was Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, it's Joe and Jimmy, or <laughs> it's Joe and Jamie uh, Gildenzoff. They also share, um, I guess, the the likes of the worksmanship or the craftsmanship with a gentleman named Brad uh, Neither Nethery. Neithery, nethery, neither, neither, potato, potato, whiskey, whiskey, however you like to say. Uh, it's totally up to you, but this is a Texas-based uh, Texas uh, sanctified spirit company. Um, and I, I'm not 100% sure, but this could be a borderline MGP. You know, it's hard to say these days. Sometimes I try to keep that stuff uh, secret. San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Um, so... They've received some accolades for this. Uh, Sunset Magazine, Bourbon and Vine, Bourbon and Spire, uh, International Wine and Spirits Festival. Now, we're going to find out, is this the gold standard or not? I would not say that, uh, you know, there's another one out there, Proper 12, that claims it to be liquid gold as well. But is it? I, I don't. I wouldn't say so, honestly. I like, I like McGregor myself. If you don't, that's fine. We're not here for McGregor. We're here to find out what whiskey is worth a shit. Can I say that? Okay. Um, so let, without further ado, I know I've been I've been sipping a little bit of this, so I'm gonna cleanse my palate with some more whiskey. Oh, wait a minute. I do have to mention this. So inside of this bottle, which could or could not be a gimmick, all right? I don't know how legit this is, but I'm not sure if you can see it in there. You may or may not. All right, this is where the uh, the spire comes from. I guess it's called a spire. It looks like a piece of wood, a spiraled piece of wood, if you will. And uh, what they do is, they're as far as I know, they're the only ones that do this, which is why I said that this could be a gimmick. It's supposed to help uh, with the taste once you bottle this particular whiskey. And uh, what, what makes this a toasted oak is that they literally have uh, slightly toasted this oak five inch spire that is inside of this bottle which uh, apparently uh, with every single bottle these are hand placed in there so hopefully they wash their hands uh, after they wipe their ass because if not you might get a little chunky monkey in there and we're not talking about from Howlerhead. Yikes. <laughs> this is a brand new bottle and instead of me doing that I am just gonna turn this and yeah, all right. Got uh, three ice cubes as I usually do, sometimes two, sometimes I go completely neat. But uh, for this, I like to get a little bit of everything in there so I can kind of smell, taste, and see. Um, apologies because I have recently just moved. I do not currently have uh, any cool guy glasses. All right, it's been a while since I've done this, but nosing for newbies. Okay, what do we really got here? Now, this reeks of Mr. Rogers mothball sweater drenched in vomit after a real good night. Uh, I also get some elements of Bill Cosby's roofie collection. Huh. Weird. That's a weird mixture. But, but wait, there's more. In other news, he, he recently was released from prison. And immediately after he was released from prison, uh, it looks like Jello has decided to um, sue him for tampering with their ingredients. I wonder what you were putting in there, Bill. Also, it smells like the real, absolute... 100% cure for the Rona. But it also has elements of a drunk grandma at the gym with the hints of an overused ashtray and possibly 
too much perfume that they spray on to try to cover that up. You know, it's almost like one of those people that don't wear deodorant and they just spray on a bunch of backs and smell like a 12 year old boy that's trying to look hot in front of, well, everyone. Okay, now it's off to the real deal. Okay, so I really get some, some actual hints of leather in here. It smells a little bit of uh, like a Christmas tree, kind of like you can definitely smell the oakiness. Um, what else we got here? I, I get a slight hint of fruit, like maybe some uh, some blackberries, some blueberries in there. It's making my mouth water. It seems kind of simple to the smell. Let's go ahead and let's hit this taste. It's smooth, earthy, peppery at the top, like spice. And then at the tail end, that's when you get that uh, that that blueberry. It's some kind of berry. It's some darker. It's a darker berry that's at the back end, and um, it's smoother than I uh, than I anticipated. Actually, I mean it's a 90 proof. You know we're not talking in the hundreds, so it's not real. It's not real sharp. It's not real uh, acidic or anything. You don't get a burn from it. No, I mean I don't. I mean that's something that I think comes with time. You, you know, you, you're sipping enough, but uh, let's see, one more taste. Overall, I have to say it's a pretty decent, pretty decent bourbon. Um, is this a sip it or quit it? I would absolutely say that Oak and Eden finished whiskey, toasted oak, is a sip it. Well, until next time, thanks again for joining me. It's been uh, super real and kind of hot because I'm in New Mexico and it's been like 110 degrees here and currently I have a fireplace on because I thought it looked cool. Now I'm starting to sweat. So good thing I'm basically done. For real, for real, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and, and come back and check me out again. And this alcohol is working. Drink bourbon, keep sipping.